testing, testing. Again. Best of us. Best of us. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Festivus! Yes, today's the day where we air our grievances. I'm so excited. I wrote down my grievances. I think I have like 10 or 11 of them. Um, but for those of you who are joining us and have no idea what Festivus is and don't know what the airing or grievances is, well, watch this video. Now, I'll admit, I did make the video. I found it on the internet. I'm probably not even allowed to put this on, but whatever. It's the best way to explain Festivus. Because I'm the worst person to explain stuff. I'm sorry, I am. So, watch this clip. <laughs> what? Nothing, it's a card from my dad. What is it? I Wait. <laughs> Dear son, happy Festivus? What is Festivus? It's nothing. It's nothing. When George was growing Jerry, up, no. his father no. hated all the commercial and religious aspects of Christmas, yeah. so he made up his own holiday. Oh, and another piece of the puzzle falls into place. All right. And instead of a tree, didn't your father put up an aluminum pole? Huh? I'm going to work. You happy now? <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> Happy Festivus. It's Festivus. When George was growing up, no. his father... Nothing. It's nothing. It's a stupid holiday my father invented. It, it, it doesn't exist. Happy Festivus, Georgie. <laughs> Frank invented a holiday? God, he's so prolific. <laughs> Kramer, I got your message. I haven't celebrated Festivus in years. What is your interest? Well, just tell me everything, huh? Many Christmases ago, I went to buy a doll for my son. <laughs> I reached for the last one they had, but so did another man. As I rained blows upon him, I realized there had to be another way. What happened to the doll? It was destroyed. But out of that, a new holiday was born. A Festivus for the rest of us. <laughs> that must have been some kind of doll. She was. The Festivus dinner, you gather your family around and tell them all the ways they have disappointed you over the past year. And is there a tree? No, instead there's a pole. Requires no decoration. I find tinsel distracting. Frank, this new holiday of yours is scratching me right where I itch. Let's do it then. All right. Festivus is back! I'll get the pole out of the crawl space. Hello, Frank. Hello, woman. <laughs> So, I've got my Festivus pole, I got my Festivus cards, right here, got good old Frank Costanza, a Festivus for the rest of us, you're right, let's get to it. I wish I could, there was a spot where I can place, you know, the pole. Of course, I thought it'd be oh so fun, you know, since it's during the holiday season. Why don't we drink some wine while we whine about our airing of grievances? You know, why not? And uh, what are we drinking? This is Apothic Dark Red Blend California 2014. Ooh, feeling all gothic now, huh? Mmm. Delicious adult juice. Love it. Love it. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Gotta be all professional now. <clears throat> my first grievances. My first... Okay, so basically, what I'm going to... Gr grieve. No, I'm not grieving. So basically, what I'm going to do is um, just... Um, complain about 10 or 11 things that I have written down. Um, I'm just going to keep this lighthearted, you know, keep for fun. I'm not going to go all crazy on, you know, we're just going to keep it light, keep it fun. All right, let's get to it. So the first thing 
is the UPS delivery people. You know, because sometimes it's a man, sometimes it's a woman. For some reason, they are scared to see people. Because I'm literally five steps from the door from where I sit and then from the, the front entrance. And then for some reason, they'll, they'll just take the package. It's, this is what they do. They have the package with them and then they go like this. And then they, they just run. Like, I don't get it. I open the door and all I hear is from the, the door from the, the hall. It's so weird. It's the weirdest thing. It's like, are you you're scared to see me for some reason? I, I don't get that. Plus, they just drop it. They're just like, hello. There could be something uh, valuable in there. Anyways, all right. The next uh, grievance is uh, cashiers that make you feel like you're a criminal when you're using coupons. Am I right? Like, um, what? I'm following the rules. Coupon is money, pretty much. And then they look at you like you're about to rob a bank or something. It's like, what? I really, I don't like that. They make you feel like you're below them for some reason or you're stealing. And I don't like that. You should, cashiers should not make us feel uh, like criminals or make us feel bad for using coupons, especially when we follow the rules. Anyways, let's move on. All right, so it's time to pause for a little drink break. Mmm, it's just delicious grape juice. Oh God, so delicious. All right, next. Oh yes, okay. When companies offer samples and they don't commit or uh, they simply offer something uh, only to get traffic to their website or to get email subscriptions. I'm sure some of you have uh, gone through this where um, there's a company on Facebook or on their website they're offering free samples and you fill out the, the form and then not even like maybe an hour, sometimes a day later, they'll email you and they're like, oh, we were not expecting all that traffic, so we can't send you the sample. We're so sorry. Yeah, right. I don't like that. I think they're being sneaky. It's just, I think that's just a, a way or a trick for them to, to get traffic to their website or to get people to subscribe to their uh, newsletter and stuff like that. And I don't think that's right. I think Nah, yeah, they don't actually commit to giving the samples. It was just like a, a ploy. Shame on you, companies that do that. Shame on you. All right, next, next grievances. Okay. Oh yes, people that start following you on, for example, Instagram, but unfollow you because you didn't follow them back. I absolutely hate that. Um, I get a lot of um, people that will start following me and I'll notice they, um, them, themselves, like their account is very popular, like they have a lot of Instagram followers. And, um, and yeah, I mean, it, it could be like a fitness person or whatever or foodie and if I like their Instagram account, then yeah, I might start following them, but if I don't like it um, or if it's private, and I'm not going to follow you. But I don't think that's right. I don't think that's right that, you know, um, the, the the only reason that you start following me is so that I'll start following you. And then once you see me follow you, then you unfollow me. See, I don't like that. That's, that's just wrong. Uh, especially for people like me or others. Like, it takes a really long time to get followers um, on Instagram and even Twitter. So, I don't know. I don't like it when people do that. And then um, also the ones that only start following you during giveaways and then once the giveaway is done, then they unfollow you. But then you do another giveaway and all of a sudden those people are back. And then they do the same thing. Once the giveaway is done, then they unfollow you or unsubscribe, which is completely unfair. Uh, and it's like, like I said, it takes a lot of time and a lot of work to even 
get all the subscribers and followers that I get right now um, and to see them leave only because they just wanted a chance for to win something but then I don't know it's just it kind of sucks you know what I mean like it's a lot of work for then um, for nothing almost I want you to stick around you know be my friend please be my friend and come play with me Ooh, look <laughs> someone can take that the wrong way <laughs> let's just drink some more shall we that sounds like a smart idea All right, the next grievance, uh, grievance, grievances, whatever. The next thing I want to bitch about. Um, oh, yes, to the one person who for some odd reason takes the time to unlike my videos. Really? You suck. Like, why would you, why? Like, I understand unliking a video if... If it's um, like a production company or, um, you know, like someone who's big and like m big movie people. I don't know. Not like small town girls like me who, you know, just make a YouTube channel for fun. Like that's just so mean and it's just so rude. Like why? Why would you do that? If you don't like it it's, and it's or it bothers you, just, you know, close the channel. Just click out. Done. Like, do you really have to take the time to go, oh my god, you suck, ugh, unlike. Why? Why do you have to do that? You suck. Okay, so the next uh, thing I like to bitch about is, ah, people who use Facebook like it's Google. You know there's Google, right? Like, if you're actually searching for something or a phone number or information, it would actually be faster if you do it on Google rather than Facebook. Or do you not, or maybe, hmm, maybe people think Facebook is Google, which it isn't. Actually, no, that would be really stupid to think that. Uh, anyways, yeah, I actually, I hate it when people like, does anybody know the number two blah, blah, blah? Just freaking Google it. Why? Why do I don't... Yeah. Alright. Next item on the list, my computer. Granted, it is five years old, but I think she's dying. She overheats. She doesn't keep a charge. The mouse pad um, isn't working, or it's just stopped working all of a sudden. And the keys are sticking on the keyboard. I think it's time for a new one. Hopefully she'll last until I can afford to get a new one. Please, for the love of God, please last. And the last item on my list, my cats. I love you dearly, but oh my God, you make such messes. Must you track your cat litter everywhere? It's, it's ridiculous. It'll be from the kitchen all the way to the bedroom. I need like a little robot, like a little iRobot or a Roomba to follow them everywhere. It's ridiculous. But what can you do? I love them. I love my cats. Alright guys, well that was my Festivus video. Hope you guys liked it. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye guys, happy Festivus, and happy holidays.